why God makes us wait for love. God has a weird way of making us wait for someone that's real, someone that understands us deep, someone that understands our qualities and our flaws, someone that just understands who we are, and not only understands who we are, but understands that they wanna grow with us, not, not only physically, mentally, but spiritually. We all want that someone that just loves us unconditionally, gives us that, that support, you know? And we all want that at the end of the day. But see, God has a way of making you wait for what you want and making you wait and be patient for what you want. Notice in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 5. In that verse, it describes love as patient, kind, not jealous, not bragging, not arrogant, not rude, not insisting on its own way, irritable, not resentful, rejoicing at wrongdoing, living with the truth. Well, not only teaches us to wait patiently for love, but it teaches us to patiently wait for God. Psalms chapter 27, verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Another verse I have to read, Psalm chapter 27, verse 14. It says, wait on the Lord. Strong and take heart wait for the Lord. I will send different talking stages you may have gone through or different different opposite genders that you've met that you looked at as potential boyfriend slash girlfriend. I will use those people to show you that you don't need anybody right now. That those people aren't really for you. If God was really showing you a way to where it was clearly shown to you that those people were for you or that that girl or that that guy was for you, he will clearly tell you. You have to look at the signs that God gives. But that's why I like in the verse, that's why I like in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, the love is patient. People have to struggle with patience. And I know I'm one to struggle with patience, but see, I recognize that God has something in store for us. God has an entire journey for us to go on. So everybody that you're meeting now, you might not even know years later. Everybody that you've talked to, you interacted with, may not be the one for you. Girlfriend, that, that ex you might have dated in the past, she clearly wasn't for you or y'all would be together. Crazy way of bringing people together, even under crazy circumstances. May not have you in a relationship because he's testing you. He's trying to strengthen you. He's trying to get you where you want to go before you pursue that girl or that that boy that you want. God wants to prepare you. He wants to prepare your heart. He wants to prepare your mind because mindset is everything. Like I say in every single video, that you have to learn is discipline. You have to use discipline. Patience comes with discipline. You have to be patient have to do what you do on a regular basis get on your grind do what you have to do to stay locked in on your goals it's something a lot of people they may be in their 50s and 60s and they still struggle with it you don't learn patience overnight a lot of people struggle with that because you know they may have been grinding all this time to get something like a relationship they've been talking to this person all this time then they mess around and that person, you may have been talking to that person for months and months. Y'all just have a fallout. Like, y'all just fall off. Y'all don't text anymore. Y'all don't talk anymore. And you got to realize God designed it for a reason like that. God made it to where you need to be ready. He wants you to be ready. This thing out of this entire video is be patient. Your girl is coming, bro. Your girl is coming. But this is what I also want you to remember. Look for the signs that girls or guys give if they like you or they want you. 
And if God allows it, pray for it. If God doesn't allow it, still be grateful. You got to allow God to take control, to take the wheel. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe if you want to grow spiritually. That's what this channel is about. Also, there will be life advice content coming coming soon to the channel as well. Um, appreciate the love and support on the videos. On the road to 3,000 subscribers. We, we, we going up. 2024, we going up. So I love y'all. I appreciate it. Peace.